Hello, this training here is to help you work with preferred groups and get them set up. Um, preferred groups are generally going to be uh, clients that you have contracts with, typically with a restricted number of products, sometimes restricted in the color, etc. So we're going to go ahead and go through this. Um, we can set up a link here on your menu bar or elsewhere in the uh, landing page to go ahead and have your preferred group members sign up on their own. So if we click into here, you can see that if they're already a customer, they can go ahead and sign in here um, with their username and password. If they're new, um, what they would do is they'd go ahead and register um, just as any other normal website, fill in the information, create their own password. And at the very end, you're going to provide them with a group password. When they put that in and they sign up, they're automatically going to be assigned to the preferred group with that group password. So let's go take a little look. All right, so I'm signed in as an admin, so I can go ahead and click here to go to the back end. And if we go here to the shoppers module, you'll see that we have the preferred groups right here. If we enter here, um, we can go ahead and um, work on an existing preferred group or create a new preferred group. I'm going to go ahead and add a new preferred group. So this can be um, whatever the name of the company is. We'll just say this is Holiday Inn, and you give them a group password, and we'll just keep it there. Of course, you can create whatever you want it to be. Uh, keep in mind that if you give out this group password, they will be able to register on the site. Um, so you want to make sure that only the uh, preferred group client is getting this password. You can set them to have a discount percentage off of products. You can also go ahead and have an order confirmation email being sent to, let's say, the uh, manager at HolidayInn.com or whatever their email address is. That way they'll get notified whenever one of their uh, employees uh, purchases a pr uh, products. You can also add in a logo. Here with the group view, this is asking you if you want them to only see group products or if you want them to be able to purchase an, all products that you have on your website. Typically, you'll only let them see the group products. Now, when we do these group products, you usually have a discount for these people, whether it's a custom rate, um, lower prices. So if you're doing that, you generally want to hide them to the public because you don't want to have Sally Shopper be able to buy the Holiday Inn uh, garments at the lower price. We'll also need to go ahead and set up a payment. So right now we'll select purchase order. So now we're going to go ahead and save and exit. So we just created this preferred group, and now if we go onto the front end, we'll be able to see it. I'm going to go ahead and refresh here. And if I click on Edit, I can come over here, and we'll see that preferred groups are showing here in the blue menu bar. We click on that, and now you can see that Holiday Inn site preferred group that I just created. So we're going to go ahead and click in there. And now it's going to take us to the preferred group. Now keep in mind that we haven't put anything in here yet, just yet. So when we actually go to the preferred group, we're not going to see any products. We'll need to populate those later, and we're going to show you how to do that by going into the products and um, going ahead and viewing products. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab these uh, tactical pants here um, and this shirt and make copies of them. These copies are going to be created so that I can customize them as my client Holiday Inn might uh, need. When you make a copy, you'll see that it, um, it's going to show up again right here at the top with this copy appendage on the code. I'm going to go ahead and make another copy here. Let's go ahead and make a short sleeve shirt here. And while we're doing that, I'm going to jump to the front end. And we can see now that we're in the Holiday Inn preferred group. Um, there's no products. But one of the neat things about this is that we can go ahead and um, edit up this to make it a little more interesting visually. So we'll go ahead and drop in a little fixed container underneath. And it lets us pick, you know, how many columns we want. I'm just going to select one from now. And I'll drop in a Create Content Widget. And this is basically your basic text editor. Okay. 
So I've got this basic little word in here. I'm going to go ahead and take this and center it. Make it a bit bigger. And just it's real basic. So I'm going to go ahead and save that and publish. On the back end, we'll see here that we have these two copies that we created. I'm going to go ahead and grab both of these at the same time and go to edit these. And here I can go ahead and change the name to make it fit the company in question. This will make it a little bit easier for you to find these when you're looking to assign these to your preferred group. And let's say that um, you know we want to change the price on this. We're going to change it from $54.99 to, let's say, $44.99. And we'll just drop this one down $10 as well and go ahead and save. That way you can go ahead and assign you know, the lowered price for them um, as you see fit. All right, so we've got these here. We've edited these prices. Um, now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and add these to the preferred group. So we'll go again back to the preferred group module. We're going to come in here to Holiday Inn and edit this. And when we click on group products, We'll see that there's no products here. So what we want to do is we want to assign the products to the group. And we're just going to grab these two copies that we made here and go down to the bottom of the page and assign products to the group. All right, we'll go back in. And we'll see that when we click on the group products, these two products are showing up. So if we take a quick peek back here and we go to Holiday Inn, we'll see if it's populated yet. Yes. So we have the two products that we just assigned are showing up here at that lower price. And you can see the little code here where it says Holiday Inn. All right. The next thing that you want to do is you'll probably want to go ahead, if you have enough items, to kind of fill out this menu bar. Right now it's just got this home area. So the way we can do that is by creating group categories. So I'm going to add a category here, and we're just going to call this uh, tops. And then tops holiday end. So now we've got this tops category. We'll go ahead and create a uh, bottoms category as well and we'll just give this code BHI for bottoms holiday in and go ahead and add that category so now we've got these two categories note that you could also add an image to these if you want so I'm going to assign products to the tops category and I'm going to go ahead and grab this short short sleeve shirt assign products to the category Now I'm going to open up this one here, and I'm going to grab the pants for the bottoms category. And then I'm going to go ahead and save. So I've created you know, these two here, the tops and the bottoms. So now on the front end, when I go back to home, What we can do is work on the menu bar here, and we're going to do that by clicking Edit, going to the CMS, clicking on the Menu Builder, and I'm just going to go ahead and add a link here, and I'm going to put in Tops. And as I start to type out Tops, it recognizes that custom uh, category we created. I'm going to go ahead and add another one for the bottoms. And again, it's going to recognize that category we created. Um, we we'll keep it alphabetical, so I'm going to bring bottoms over here. And I'm going to go ahead and save. All right, so we saved it. So we're going to go back to the front end. 
And now we see that we have bottoms and tops showing here. And if we click on bottoms, we see that pants that we assigned to that category. And if we go to tops, we're going to see the shirt we assigned to that category. Now, in terms of design, some people uh, it po automatically populates with this rectangular box here, but you can go ahead and clean up and make this a uh, little slicker look. We'll go ahead and delete that one and publish. And we'll go ahead and do the same for the uh, bottoms category. Go ahead and publish. And while we're at it, we'll go ahead and go back to the home link here, which is going to have both products. And again, do the same thing, just so we have a uniform look. And publish. Now keep in mind that you're going to be stuck in here if you're working on it. The way to get back is to click on edit and go back to the store. And that way you will go back to your public landing page. Thank you.